Did you inherit a house in Central Florida? If so, you might have questions about the probate process. My name's Matt, I'm with My Florida Homebuyers, and in this video, I'm gonna answer some of the most commonly asked questions about the probate process. So the obvious question is, what is probate? Probate is actually the legal process that you have to go through in order to be able to sell a house that you inherited. So uh, basically it involves turning over things like the will, um, other documentation to the court, and then letting the judge put the stamp of approval on it and give you the authority to sell the house. You might think that just because the will says that you're the heir to the house, that you can just go sell the house. And that's actually not true. You still have to get the judge's approval and it has to go through that probate process with the court before you can do anything with the house. So how long does the probate process actually take? Well, on average, it's around 90 days. Now it could take longer than that and it could be shorter than that. It just depends on your particular situation, the details involved with the probate case, uh, you know, how many probate cases are going through the court at that time, the judge's workload, things like that. But on average, we'll call it 90 days. Typically the probate process is gonna cost you anywhere from 2000 to $5,000. Uh, we usually tell people about $3,500 to plan on, $3,500. That's gonna cover your attorney's fees as well as uh, court costs, filing costs, things like that. Um, now you could get lucky and it might be uh, 2,000 if it's complicated and the attorney has to do some extra paperwork, extra legwork, could be closer to 5,000, but typically plan on around 3,500. Now, if you have inherited a house in Central Florida and you wanna sell it, we'd be happy to buy it from you. We can actually make you a cash offer on the house. We can purchase it as is. You won't have to make any repairs or updates and we'll even help pay for your probate costs, um, you know, things like that. And actually I'm standing on the deck of a house that we purchased not too long ago uh, from a uh, person who inherited it in Central Florida. And this house was um, completely cram packed with stuff you it was almost like a hoarder house you couldn't walk in there um we bought it with all that stuff inside uh the the people who inherited it they just came and they took what they wanted and they left the rest we were able to either donate it or or trash it out um and that's not something that they would have been able to handle on their own they all lived out of the area it would have been really inconvenient for them to you know take the time and effort to to come down uh you know unload this entire house i think it ended up being like uh five or six dumpsters that we had to actually unload out of this house. There's no way that they would have been able to do that on their own. Um, so we saved them a lot of time and effort by doing that for them. Uh, another thing that was going on with this house, there was actually two mortgages on this house. So uh, the people who inherited it, they did not have the money to actually continue paying the mortgage after um, they inherited the property. So. Uh, had they not sold this property to us when they did, there's a very good chance that they would have lost it to foreclosure just because there was two mortgages that they needed to be paying. Um, another thing that was going on with this particular house was uh, because the, the people who inherited it were out of state, uh, they were not around to actually maintain the property. And, and this is a, a two acre piece of property. So, uh, you know, paying for lawn service was too expensive for them. They just didn't have the money laying around. So um, because of that, the property was getting overgrown, it was getting run down, and code enforcement had actually, right when we purchased it, they were getting ready to start assessing fines on the property if it was not cleaned up. So this is a perfect case of how we can actually step in, uh, purchase the property from you, um, you know, pay all your closing costs, buy it as is, and make it as hassle-free as possible for you while still putting the most amount of money possible in your pocket. Now, maybe you've inherited a house that's in great shape. It doesn't need anything cleaned out. Um, it's move-in ready and you have the money to pay, you know, the mortgage, taxes, insurance, utilities throughout the probate process, through that 90 days, maybe more, um, you know, and then throughout the process that it's listed with a realtor. Uh, maybe you're in, in that position. That's great. Um, you know, if you contact us and that's your situation, we're most likely going to tell you, hey, Go list this thing with a realtor, that's gonna be the best way to put the most money in your pocket. And in fact, we can actually refer you to a great local real estate team uh, if you need somebody to actually list the house and, get, and sell it to a retail buyer and get you top dollar. Um, but if you're not in that situation, like the people here were, uh, where the house is completely jam-packed with stuff, it's like a hoarder house. Um, this deck we actually just put on, but the deck that was here before was, was so bad you couldn't even walk on it. Um, it was all completely falling down. 
Uh, the house needs a bunch of repairs and updates. Uh, the people that inherited it, there's no way that they could make the mortgage payments on two mortgages uh, for the 90 days that it would take to go through probate. They didn't even have the money to pay for the probate. Um, and they definitely didn't have money to maintain the property. Like I said, code enforcement was coming out, getting ready to put fines on the property. So if that's the case, we can absolutely buy the house from you. We can pay you cash, we can close quickly, and you won't have to worry about um, stressing over a house that's maybe in another state that you've inherited that you can't actually take care of. So if that's the case, definitely reach out to us. And like I said, if it's a situation where you're better off to sell it with a realtor, we'll let you know. We'll be the first ones to let you know like, hey, list this thing with a realtor, that's gonna be able to get you top dollar for the property. So if you've inherited a house in Central Florida, go on our website, myfloridahomebuyers.com, submit your property information. There's a good chance that we can help you out and actually purchase that property from you without you having to do any repairs or updates. Uh, if it's a, an issue, we can actually help pay for your probate costs. Uh, we can close in as little as two weeks, pay you cash, um, you know, and we can even take over mortgage payments, stuff like that if, if that's an issue. So go on our website, submit your information or give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out in any way that we can. Again, my name is Matt. I'm with My Florida Homebuyers. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next video.